well welcome to another one and uh, tonight tonight late this afternoon early evening i'm back in Oban and i've just boarded the ferry from mull and we're off to craignure today from Oban with a bit of luck and a little bit of luck and a lot of aching we're going to try and get over to the island of iona and uh, explore that but that's for tomorrow tonight we get on mull we cycle as far as we possibly can and um, try and make it as easy as possible tomorrow. For now, let's enjoy this sailing, eh? About an hour. for about an hour now just over an hour and uh, 11 and a half miles done I've got this I'm almost at the highest point of this uh, this ride I've got like a five mile steady uphill it's it's very steady gradients and I've got a, a tailwind so it's helping but I think uh, probably another half a mile up here and then I've got a steady four or five miles down the other side as well which is good and that's going to get me closer to camp so the idea is to try and get around about 20 miles maybe a little bit more done tonight and then get camp and then that'll lead me around about 14 miles ish um, to the ferry to get over to Iona and that's the plan so I'm going to keep going anyway probably it's 12 minutes past seven now so I'll keep going till eight o'clock and then um, I'll see where I am with mileage there. That's where I push on for another 15 minutes or so. About um, 18 miles in now, going okay. I, uh, I picked up a lot of speed going down the other side of that hill which has certainly helped the mileage, that's for certain. So half past seven now. So I'm gonna keep going till eight o'clock and see where that gets me. I'm heading down to the sides of this Loch Shaw now. It's like an inland Loch Shaw, I think it's inland. And uh, that's kind of the place where I was looking to put the tent. But like I said, the more mileage I can get done tonight, the more time I can spend on I own a tomorrow. Right, let's get on a little further. Right, that's me found my camping spot for tonight. Five to eight. So probably just less than two hours since I climbed off the ferry and 22 miles. So we're very, very, very happy with that. We've got a nice little beach here, we've got a nice flat area here. We uh, hopefully, well I don't think we'll have the ocean noise because I think it's going to be calm. There were a couple of geese here a few minutes ago which I need to get rid of. We don't want them honking tonight do we? But, excellent camping spot. Right, I'm going to get my tent up because I need to get some food on and relaxed. But that was an excellent ride and that leaves me around about just 12 miles in the morning to Iona. Right, that's me all pitched up now, all good. And uh, just just perfect as the sun's starting to set now. Half past eight, bang on the nose. And it's a beautiful, beautiful spot, isn't it? 22 miles, that's not bad, is it? From couch to 22 miles. You never lose it, you know, you never lose it. Anyway, that leaves me around about 12 miles to go to Iona tomorrow, which is brilliant, by the way. I'm going to get something to eat now and I'm going to have a drink of Rouge because I've earned it. We're a cracking little place.
Okay, that's me done and dusted now, all fed, and I'm just finishing off my red water, which is very nice. Right, that's me done and dusted. I'm going to get some rest now, and we shall catch you again bright and early in the morning. 12 miles, I think I've said, to Iona Ferry. I don't know what time the ferry times are. I'll have to have a look. And then we will shall explore that wonderful island. I shall see you in the morning. Bye for the news. Good morning, how are you today? Good, me too. Good night's sleep. It is nine o'clock on the dot. And uh, a very restful night too. Dry night as well, tent's nice and dry this morning, which is good, so it's not heavy. Um, weather, warm, very warm, but overcast. I don't know if the sun's gonna come out today, but uh, we don't need it, it's okay. Right, all packed up absolutely perfect spot to camp i'm going to push my bicycle now up onto the roadside and then we'll get this 12 miles done down to the iona ferry so a good rest last night and uh, it seemed to stay light for ages and ages but um oh i think it was 11 when i eventually went to sleep so quite surprised this morning when it was after eight o'clock that i woke up but on his way now, all's good in the world. Nearly eight miles in now. Just stop for a little uh, snack and a drink of water. Perfect timing, just arrived at Finport and walked straight onto the ferry. So that's Iona over there, and you can actually see Columbus Priory just in the distance. So finally, I get to go and see Iona, and a good way of getting here as well. Nice and slow, and the power of my two legs. First stop has to be Iona Abbey, doesn't it? Welcome to Iona Abbey. So this has cost £10 to get in and the ticket's valid all day. Um, so if you're on the island you can pop in and pop out. If you missed anything first time, but it's... Uh, it's iconic, isn't it? Everybody, I think just about everybody's heard of St. Columbus Abbey. Let's show you around. There's lots of interpretation panels around, so we'll pick some of these up if you want to read them. Press pause.
this is quite a peaceful place, place this um this little I'll call it a square but um everything's very very quiet here which you would expect I mean churches are quite hard they talk people start to sing Well that was good wasn't it? Nice to have a good look around that. Right, time's getting on. I think best thing to do is jump on the bike and then we'll just uh, see what else we can see on this island by bicycle. So this is St. Columba's Bay and um, well it, it looks positively tropical doesn't it? I mean that is, I wonder if it's cold. It's going to be cold isn't it? And I don't do cold. That's not bad. That'd be alright would that you know. Beautiful. Right, back at the ferry now, so just having a mooch round waiting for the ferry to come. I don't know what time, it just it just says uh, that the ferry times are often, no times. What a cracking day. Lovely spot, isn't it? been in this uh, cafe here just off the ferry and just had a sausage sandwich and a cup of coffee and that's brought life back into my legs. I'm gonna set off back now on the road we came across Mull and uh, I did pass a campsite which uh, had a dirty great big pub on it which sold beer so my plan is which is around about uh, maybe 15-16 miles away from here so we're gonna cycle back there we'll have a look we'll certainly have a pint if it's not extraordinarily expensive I'll stay there, if it's ridiculously expensive I'll just camp outside at road and, um, and we'll eat Ben's rice. Right, come on, we've got a long cycle back but it's a lovely day. quick update I've reached the spot where I camped last night so that's uh, 12 mile back from the ferry port I don't know how many I've done today so far currently 33 miles so it's a it's a good day 
I don't have a great deal much left to do before I get that campsite and that bar. Probably five miles, something like that. So maybe another half an hour or so. It's currently 10 past three. So all good. Anyway, fingers crossed this campsite's got everything we need. And um, if it has, we'll call it home for night. And then we've got a relatively comfortable if not over the top of that hill cycle back to the ferry which I've got booked for noon I think tomorrow so far so good Here we are, that's me all set up now and I did get to that campsite and it is close to a large pub and if my reckoning and planning is right it opened half an hour ago so quite why I'm stood here is beyond me. £18 for the pitch. Now you might think that's very expensive in a country where you can wild camp for free but, and this is very important, I've just had a shower and swallows that shower was absolutely fantastic these swallows are having a great time so pitch there nice nice spot just next to this um, picnic picnic table so plan is I'll go get a couple of beers now probably get something to eat and then maybe bring back something a little alcoholic just to settle in for the evening by my picnic table. How are you keeping? Good. Me too. I've, uh, I've just left the pub. I don't even know what the pub's called, but it's a great pub. Had salmon and boiled potatoes for tea, which was lovely. And I am replete. And a few beers. Bear with me, Carla. Oh. Bear with me, Carla. Well, it was lovely. And I'm heading back. I've got a couple of um, naughty, <laughs> naughty speckled ends. Now, for those people that know me, but I have a weakness for speckled end. Now, I've only got two. Now this is good, because more often than not, it'd be half a dozen and I wouldn't even be able to walk in the morning. Anyway, join me in a second as we opened a speckled in. Strangely, it would appear to have rained whilst I've been sat in the pub. Everything's good in the world. Have I mentioned that? Wind's properly dropped now as well. There isn't a breath of wind. Look at that beautiful, beautiful, look at it. Cheers. Great trip. You enjoyed it? Aye, me too. Good morning everyone, how are you? Excellent. A very good night's sleep. Um, just packed up now and it is quarter past eight. So I've got a very leisurely cycle back, but it is, it's got the biggest hill in it. So I should, well, in theory, I should get to Craig Muir in a couple of hours, but I'm giving myself three and a half. So it's nice and steady. That's possibly because I might have had one too many speckled ends last night, but we shall uh, we'll, we'll run it out as, as out of our veins, but all good. So um, right, around about 20 miles today, back to Craig Newer, and we'll pick it pick up some sights and sounds that we missed on first night in, and um, because I was trucking along really, not doing a massive amount of filming. So other than that, 
Great meal last night, by the way, in that pub. I, don't, I can't pronounce it. Right, let's get going. Nice to see you again. Nine miles in now and uh, just having a break. I think I'm close to the top of the climb now. And all's going well really. No real problems getting up. Just grazing on the graze with a beautiful view. That's me back now to Craig Neo. Um, the just sort of 20 miles so pretty good really that was uh that wasn't too bad and the fur is just arriving now and it's quarter to 11. i don't think we're allowed to get on till excuse me till half past with a sailing about noon so all good kind of brings it to an end um really enjoyed iona definitely we're going to worth going back again and spending a little bit more time there always nice to get back on mull even better to be on the bike. Thanks very much for watching this so far. But that's it, it's done. Hope you enjoyed it. Give us a thumbs up because we do like us thumbsies upsies. And we'll see you next time. Bye for the new.